Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to fix Multicam not working in Premiere Pro. Multicam not working meaning your uh, camera in your multi-camera sequence is not showing up in your program window. So here's how to fix that. First, there are two ways to fix this actually. First way, I have actually fudged the error here. As you see, we have Ecamm over here. Bcam is supposed to be over here, but it is not. If you click over it, well, the Bcam shows up because I fudged it. It's not showing up because I actually turned off the Bcam in the multi-camera sequence. This, I actually did this on accident because I was color grading, I was matching the Ecamm with the Bcam. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. So here we go. Both cameras show up and it's also over here too. Now if for some reason you have your camera does not appear here, but you know you have more than one sequence, go back to the multi-camera sequence and ensure that all of your video tracks are visible. This is the first error. Now here's the second error and how to correct the second error. So if you made a mistake like this, just zoom out on your timeline to make sure that all of your other clips are visible. As you see, there's a space here. There's red because this has to be pre-rendered and yellow. And there's a space here. Now this is actually the error that's inspired me to make this tutorial in the first place. Ecamm and Bcam, they both show up. You know, like, again, like... What happened? Bcam is there, but it does not show up here. Let's go to the nested sequence. Both video tracks are on here. Both are on here. So over here, what gives? Now, the way... Let's save this project first. The way I figured out how to fix this issue in particular... Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. The way to fix the issue is to restart Premiere Pro. I know, it's so stupid. Turn off and turn back on. Yes, that is how you fix it. So here we are. We are 15.30, 15 minutes, 30 seconds. Well, let's call that 30 seconds. We close Premiere Pro. Why are you open? Then we reopen the project. And hopefully, well, I know the project will be fixed because I did this on a previous project about five minutes ago. So it will be fixed again. Okay, and let's click multi-camera sequence. And there you go. 50, okay, this is 15.27. We were at 15 minutes, 30 seconds, which is roughly around here. It has been fixed. Now when you're all, when you're doing, when you're troubleshooting and you fix a problem, just scroll through your timeline to ensure that this problem does not replicate itself. All right, that's all good. I'm basically looking for spaces where a track would be turned off. So let's, dis let's uh, disable this track. As you see, there's a space here. This is how you know from a glance that a video the piece of a video is not working or your video is not working. Let's go back and turn that back on. Enable. There we go. Alright, so that's how to fix the error. One, ensure all of your video tracks are on in your multi-camera sequence. And two, once you ensure that these cameras are on, one, if you still have black bars, not black bars, if your video is still blank and you can see both cameras in your multi-camera sequence window, restart Premiere Pro. Simple fix. Super stupid simple fix. Restart Premiere Pro. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like it. 
If you have any questions, let me know. I probably wouldn't get back to you, but <laughs> I will, I will, I will. I'm joking. Thanks for watching. Bye.